When hunting in wormhole space, it's not uncommon to find apothols or other industrial ships doing planetary interaction. The ganks on these ships are usually pretty straightforward, but sometimes there can be a couple of snags. A recent epithaw kill of mine was a little bit more complex, and I felt like it ran the gamut of problems that you could potentially encounter in these situations, so I decided to go ahead and make a video to demonstrate how I approached these um, particular situations. This um, video actually starts out in a little bit of a weird way. You see me landing on a C3 wormhole here, and I go to jump through, and as soon as I do, an Astero lands on the hole with me, and he jumps through as well. So I get information on the pilot like I would normally do, but I notice as soon as I hit D scan that there's two apothols on scan. So I quickly try to figure out exactly which planet they're on. And um, I know that the Astero is around, and he may be, you know, an issue, but to be honest with you, most of the time, whenever you're hunting PI ships, there's no bait, you know, there's no backup, it's just it's just the hauler by itself, so I don't, you know, fully expect him to be there. I feel like, um, you know, it's pretty safe to just go after the Epithole and maybe warp out if I need to, just keep it in the back of my mind. Uh, my descanning here is sloppy, but I do figure out which planet the Epithole is at, and I warp to the customs office at 10. You want to make sure you warp at 10. If you warp at 0, you'll end up bumping into the customs office and decloaking. And as we'll see in a minute, you don't want to decloak um, unintentionally. You want to make sure that it's something that you actively want to do. So I land on this uh, Poco, and the Epithal is here, but he's already in the process of warping out. So I go ahead and track uh, the Epithal, and I see which Poco he's warping to next is something you need to be prepared to do because epithals will warp from one poco to another and uh, you know the pilots who are used to doing it more or maybe afraid of getting ganked will do it fairly quickly so you just want to make sure that you you keep that in mind <laughs> anyways i uh land on the poco of the planet that he warped to but he's not here and what this means is that he's warped to a pos now i don't want to talk too much about pos mechanics because those are on the way out uh, alternatively, like what would have happened if they had a Citadel in system is he would have worked to a Citadel. And uh, everything would have pretty much been the same from there. Um, unfortunately, with Citadels, you can't see what ship the pilots are in, but you can see how many pilots are in the actual Citadel. So the, nothing really would have changed here. Um, I go ahead and figure out which POS he's at, and I warp over to the POS, and I see that both Epithals are there, and they're just kind of sitting there. And at this point, you know, you have to make the decision, well, do I hang out and see if they leave again or not? And in this case, I do decide I'm going to go ahead and wait a little bit. I feel like, you know, maybe I'll get another shot if I stick around for a minute. So after enough time passes, the epithal starts to move and uh, get ready to warp. I'm actually off on a different monitor when this happens, otherwise I'd be paying closer attention to him. But once he does warp, I notice um, and I... I track him with my camera. Unfortunately, he warps to um, two planets that are very close together. Now, I could have, if I were more aware of what was going on, uh, used D-Scan to figure out which planet he warped to. But since I was just kind of waking up, so to speak, I uh, just picked one and warped to it. And uh, unfortunately, you know, what I should have done is just immediately warped to the next Poco. Um, that, you know, because there were two that I was having to choose between, I should have just warped to the other one. Um, but instead I choose to try and locate him again on D-Scan as I land on the Poco. I'm thinking, you know, maybe he warped off to a third Poco somewhere else in the system. And I do this really poorly. I don't know what my problem was today, or on this day, but uh, I just wasn't, you know, using my D-Scan very well. Uh, lucky for me, however, he, you know, I, I kind of locate a mid-warp here, but lucky for me, he actually is warping to this particular Poco. Um, so he lands and I just decloak and I, you know, go ahead and start shooting at him. And what you'll notice here is that when he lands, I actually can't target him for a while. And you'll see this in just a moment again. But whenever you land, if you don't, you know, take any action, you have a few seconds of invulnerability. But I do manage to lock him. And uh, what I'm thinking here is, you know, I, if he's not tanked at all, he'll just pop instantly. If he is tanked, it'll take a few volleys. I might have to worry about other ships. If he's tanked and stabbed, which he is, he'll warp off like he just did. So I want to make sure that I track him and figure out where he's warping. And luckily this time he warps to a single, you know, there's only a single planet in this direction. So I go ahead and warp. And I actually land at pretty much the same time as him. 
And if you're、uh, better with your camera, you can actually see where they're going to warp as they warp off.、Um, but I haven't gotten used to the new camera well enough to, to do that.、Um, and here you can see again, he's just kind of he's not moving. I think he's trying to figure out what he wants to do next. And、uh, his, his ship could have been tankier than it is, but since it isn't, I managed to actually kill him here before he warps off. There's no point in activating my disruptor here because, you know, he's stabbed and I've already, I've already seen that he's stabbed. But I do manage to take him down. And、uh, I accidentally click on the Poco here, which locks faster than the pod, so I scram the Poco, but he doesn't really make any attempt to get his pod out. So I go ahead and get it. And then I end up shooting the wreck here. Um, I actually had to leave、uh, pretty, pretty soon after this, but if you keep the wreck around, a lot of times the owner will try and fetch the contents of it. So they might bring out a second hauler, or maybe they'll bring out some bigger ship to protect a hauler that'll loot the wreck.、Um, Z Kilbert had this kill at something like 50 mil, so the loot may have been substantial enough for them to want to come in and actually loot it. So after this, I Uh, we're back to the boss, but you know, like I said, I had to go, so I, I don't really stick around too much、uh, longer. And this kill, no, I was wrong, it's, it's more like a 50 million s kill, but you know, epithal kills are usually not even that much, so it's more just something to, to do to kind of like whack the beehive and, and maybe stir something up most of the time. But here I land on the boss, and、uh, like I said, it's pretty much, I'm pretty much done from here, so I just leave after this, and nothing else really comes of it. So, just as a quick review, if you jump into a system and you see an epithal on scan, especially with the citadels out now, you want to go ahead and try to find it as soon as possible. It's probably going to be an easy kill, especially if you're on top of your D scan and your tracking camera. And if you're new, it, you know, it's definitely something you should look out for as a first kill. But even if you're an older player and looking for some more you know, interesting content, Uh, ganking up with all this is a, a good way to bait some of that out. <laughs> 